here we are again, celebrating success. Success for the school and success for individuals and teams that have given their best. Menai High School was awarded its fifth Director General's Award in recognition of its amazing 25 year history. The citation for the award read, the extent to which the school has been a lighthouse in the delivery of the very highest standards of comprehensive education for 25 years is clear evidence that planning goals have been consistently constructive and achieved with excellence. Past and present students and staff celebrated our anniversary. A massive birthday cake was cut and shared by all. $300,000 was raised for solar panels, a gift to the future that makes Menai High School the first power station school, which lends reality to teaching and learning about a sustainable future and achieves massive savings, thereby releasing funds for enhanced opportunities. Your children's children will benefit from this gift. Menai High School is one of 229 public schools that elected to become part of the National Empowering Local Schools National Partnerships Initiative. A governance review ensures that decisions do reflect parent, staff, community and student thinking. Our shared sense of purpose to create skilled learners, skilled citizens and young people skilled for life was expressed through the Menai High School Exit Passport. English continues to see record-breaking results with 56% of all Year 12 graduates scoring above 80% in the 2012 HSC. The preliminary HSC, English as a Second Language program, was revised and a very innovative English studies course was developed. English, along with maths, science and history, managed the immense task of programming for the new Australian curriculum to be delivered in years 7 to 10 next year. Debating teams enjoyed great success and the Literacy Linkages program involved 60 Year 9 students as leaders who encouraged Stage 3 students to improve their writing skills and prove that the community of schools between the rivers really works to guarantee that public schools work together to provide the best kindergarten to Year 12 learning opportunities. Science continues to expand student understanding about their world. 220 entered the International Science Competition. 70 achieved credits or distinctions. 30% of all Year 8 students achieved the top band in the statewide ESSA test. And in agriculture, Ms Burke led students to multiple Royal Easter show prizes, to the winning of the state camembert cheese promotion, and winning the Cows Create Careers competition, beating 140 other schools. In marine studies, Mr McNeil continues to expand the Menai High School Boat Smart program, and locally, Menai is unrivaled in the area of marine education. Science has been enriched by many excursions and incursions like Reptiles Alive and Forensic Science. Technology and applied studies results are to be celebrated. High quality major works in industrial technology, auto and timber and in design and technology. Exciting projects in Year 7 and 8 technology food technology, textiles and industrial arts. Formula One were regional champions again and study of foods from different cultures, how exciting. Teams created food service and picnic tables for the school. Human society and its environment are celebrating learning about Australia's indigenous culture. 
They had serious fun and serious learning through mummy wrapping and also studying where history was made in Greece, Italy and Turkey. We farewell Mrs Kosky who initiated this great tradition and always served her students well. Fieldwork promotes deep, rich learning and the senior geography field trip to Queensland was a highlight amongst many. Successful recreations of the past with hands-on learning at Medieval Day was very exciting and studies of religion went to the Nantien Temple to get a feel for celebrating other people's cultures, values and practices. Australia's wartime sacrifice was studied at the Australian War Memorial with Year 9. The War Stories Community Project saw a book published as a culmination of a wonderful intergenerational project where students from Menai High School interviewed 12 unique Menai residents about their war experiences. The successes that the PDHPE faculty are celebrating feature Year 7 Life Saving Program, Year 10 and 11 Elective Ski Trip, SLR excursions to rock climbing and combat fitness at Reevesby, the internship program with Wollongong University, coaching mentors with Year 10 PARS classes, seniors on their coastal walk through the National Park, the lunchtime fitness group in the fitness centre and the golfing program utilising the putt-putt course. The VET team is celebrating the addition of business services to the existing suite of construction, hospitality, IT, primary industries and entertainment. A total of 197 senior students do VET and the SBEN VET Excellence Awards were presented to five Year 12 students. Lachlan Hatton, a primary industry student, was runner-up for the regional award, having been selected from over 50 nominations. Work placement supports students to achieve VET requirements and the school-based traineeships in aged care, well, they're alive and a reality at Menai High School. Computing studies continues to attract students seeking to extend their skills beyond the whole school technology initiatives mandated for all students. Students find this to be a really attractive career path. Maths are all counting the ways to celebrate their achievements. All Year 7 roll call classes are involved in hands-on numeracy activity with Year 11 mentors and Friday quizzes target number facts. All Year 7, 8 and 9 now use Newman's prompts to improve their ability to read, interpret and solve problems. Increasing participation in the mathematics competition saw eight distinctions and over one third achieve a credit. We say farewell to Miss Pakoulis, who is a brilliant mathematician and got the very best out of her students. Language classes continue to thrive and celebrate. Six students selected for the exchange program to Japan. They're now motivated to pursue Japanese in their senior years. The Japanese students from Chuo City also came to our school where they were treated to some unique experiences, including a school farm and putt-putt course. We hosted 26 students and two teachers from Jakarta for two weeks. Strong cross-cultural friendships were made out of this experience. Other experiences bringing language to life included Year 7 having the opportunity to order traditional Japanese lunch boxes. Some students were very adventurous. Year 9 and 10 Japanese both had immersion experiences to the Japanese Foundation. Creative and performing arts have generated delight for the entire school. Dancers shone in the Sutherland and Sydney Region Dance Festivals at the Alfreds Point Fete and the Menai High School Dance Music Showcase. Musicians wowed audiences at Open Night, Anzac Day, 
formal assemblies through their HSC major works and the Padstow Park fate. An all-student drama team performed Daisy Pulls It Off, while the visual arts made their mark in many, many areas, including an art-agriculture partnership that became a finalist in the statewide Archibald competition. Photography and digital media students created their own photographic series based on real-world experiences. And Alexander Mikalev's major HSC work was pre-selected for Art Express. An amazing and creative year culminated in Menai High School's inaugural art exhibition, exhibiting works from year 7 to 12. As is our tradition, we have much to celebrate when it comes to sport. In addition to a huge smorgasbord of non-competitive sporting options to promote lifelong health, well-being and fitness, we had 59 students represent our school at New South Wales CHS Carnivals. Two students were selected in a New South Wales school team to compete at an Australian All Schools Carnival. And Jasmine Gray was awarded the Pierre de Coubertin Olympic Award. Ten school records were broken at swimming, cross country and athletics carnivals. And over 200 students represented the school at representative carnivals. Menai High School athletes won a total of 17 state medals at New South Wales school carnivals and numerous zone and regional medals. We competed in 22 state knockout competitions, achieving great success in sports such as basketball, tennis, soccer, rugby league, softball, netball and Oztag. We continue to perform well at the weekly grade sport competition with 12 teams making a grand final. Our annual calendar is studded with a range of events celebrating our school as it strives to show our community who we are and what we do. The orientation dinner brought Year 7 parents, students and staff together to share a vision of what could be. The Year 7 morning tea program saw over 80% of Year 7 students share their new school with their family. We're always excited to reach out to our community of schools between the River's primary partners, Year 4 High School Kid for a Day, Year 6 Transition Program, and the Gifted and Talented Program is now in its 10th year. For smart kids, they can't do better than this. We enjoyed media attention for our simulated refugee camp operating throughout Refugee Week to inform students, staff and parents about the reality of the refugee story. Menai High School has been enriched by this program and by the refugees that have chosen to be part of our school. Our international program has been a fantastic educational, cultural and financial success. Japanese, Indian and Indonesian groups have enjoyed our hospitality and we are all the better for their visits. Two key teams are enablers for others, the learning support team and the student wellbeing team. They nurture our students to feel their best so that they can do their best. Both Kerry Mundy and Rob Lindsay, longtime student advocates, are leaving us this year and their leadership and care will be long remembered and greatly missed. The learning support team are celebrating the extension of peer tutoring into both numeracy and literacy. Another highly successful year in the Premier Reading Challenge confirmed our passion for reading and Jade Edibles became a published writer. For the second year, two students were awarded highly prestigious Friends of Zainab scholarships. The team has led the school to establish curriculum and assessment mapping systems to ensure that no one's special learning needs are overlooked in our large and busy school. A review and planning process has brought the team, students and their parents together to plan and evaluate individualised learning plans for those who need them. 
The wellbeing team have maintained our exciting camp program for years 7, 9 and 11. Years 7 anti-bullying program and gender days in years 8 and 9 allowed students to consider peer pressure, conflict resolution and respect. Leadership programs in year 9, 10 and 11 shape our future leaders. Other student welfare initiatives included charity fundraising with 8,500 raised for World Vision, 8,000 raised for Leukaemia Foundation through the World's Greatest Shave, study skills workshops, anti-bullying presentations, road trauma and street smart programs just to name a few. Our award-winning contributions to the blood bank continue under Miss Bessel's care and we donated more than 500 toothbrushes to the Kokoda Foundation. Our Student Representative Council are the elected student government. They are ambassadors and guides for all visitors and events. They raised $1,200 for cancer research on Bandana Day. They operated as masters of ceremony for all assemblies and skillfully hosted the Zone SRC. Their powerful and moving leadership of the White Ribbon Assembly is the stuff of real social change, promoting non-violence toward women. 2013 has given us just cause to be celebrating success and to move bravely into 2014, which provides an umbrella of opportunity and challenge. Our motto of care and commitment in all things has resulted in five Director General's Award to date. And I'm confidently predicting that our school community's story will continue to break new ground in service to our young people and their learning. 2014 will be the first year where personal technology devices will support learning for all students from seven to 12. Both the challenge and potential are enormous, and I'm confident that we can meet them both. Neither past success nor future potential is possible without our wonderful students, parents and staff, who give and give and give so generously. I thank you all and recognise you all for the wonders you are.